guys, today I'm here with my June favorites. For me, this month was all about glossy lips, lashes, peachy tones. I love breaking out all of that stuff come summer, so let's go ahead and get started. The first item I'm gonna chat about is what is on my lips and has been on my lips for like 50% of the month. It is the Nude Sticks Gel Cream Lip and Cheek Color in the shade Luxe. I got this at Generation Beauty. I love this. It is like one of those like purse products that is just like so easy to keep in your bag, throw on. You don't need a lip liner. You can also use this on your cheeks, which I have not tried, but I love the way it looks on my lips. Super peachy. It makes you look tan. It's very comfortable on the lips. After like the winter of dry liquid lipsticks, this is just super refreshing. And then in keeping with lips, but on the other kind of spectrum of it, I guess, this is something new to the Sephora line. It is the Wonderful Cushion Matte Lip Cream. And although this is matte, it is not like one of those matte liquid lipsticks that's gonna dry and be like paint on your lips, which sometimes I love that, but other times I could not be bothered with it. This is kind of somewhere in between a lip cream and a lip stain. It's got a really interesting kind of cushion top with a little hole that it comes through. This one is in the shade Wonderful Red and it is so flattering. I think reds can look really great in the summer with a gorgeous bronzy eye, lots of lashes, lots of bronzer, even skip the blush. And this is just so comfortable on your lips, super long wearing and the color is amazing. For skin this month, I cannot get enough of the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. I did an oily skin diaries on this this month, which I will link to down below. I cannot get over how great this is at controlling my oil. It is super easy. I apply Apply it with my fingers, very cheap squeezy tube. This is brand new, um, so you should be able to find it at your local drugstore now, I would think so. It came out technically in May, um, but I'm so impressed with this. I think that it is really great, an amazing option from the drugstore if you have oily skin. If you have normal skin, I think you could use this and skip the powder because it dries down to a powder finish, but this has been my go-to. I've got two um, new mascaras that I've been loving this month. The first, again, I got this at Generation Beauty. It is brand new to Makeup Forever. I think it will be out in July. It is their Excessive Lash Mascara. I've got a review up on this um, on my blog, which you may not know that I have because it is not as active as my YouTube channel, but it is a nice place for me to review like a singular product because I probably wouldn't review this in, a, like I wouldn't dedicate a whole video to it. But I do really love it, super voluminous. It's got a nice kind of bristly brush and it's got two different kinds of bristles in there. One's supposed to separate and like volumize, the other one's supposed to lengthen or something like that. Um, but I really, really enjoy it. And then I got this from Influencer, which you can sign up for if you are anybody, you don't have to be a YouTuber. It is the YSL Volume Couture Mascara. And I posted a picture of this on my Instagram and people went crazy. They were like, whoa, 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 whoa. That looks amazing. And it is beautiful, super black. Um, it does have that kind of like lacquer feel to it. It comes in a bunch of great colors as well, um, but I'm glad I got the black. So I'll of course get the most use out of this and the packaging, I mean, come on. From Annabelle, this is their blush in Spring Petal, and this is just such a gorgeous complimentary color when I'm wearing those kind of peachy tones or even red on my lips. I think that this is just like, it's just bright enough that it's gonna add that like peachy brightness to my cheeks without it looking like chalky and too pastel on my skin because with these kind of shades, it's a little bit dicey as to like if it's gonna look good and flushed and gorgeous and peachy or just like a weird too light stripe on my face. Um, so this is a great matte blush from the drugstore. I mentioned this in a Canadian beauty video a little while back. This is a Canadian brand um, and it is matte and I love the pigmentation on it um, because it is by pigmentation? No, I love the pack. Pigmentation's great too, but I love the packaging because it's super sleek, doesn't come with a stupid little brush like a lot of blushes at the drugstore. And if you are Canadian, do not overlook Annabelle blushes. I'm trying to get through this quickly because I try not to have too many favorites so that the video doesn't get too long, but I really had a lot of favorites this month. So I just, I gotta tell you. The first is, or the second last, oh guys, I'm a mess. <laughs> the Face Atelier Ultra Matte. This is a setting spray and it can be used to banish shine before, during, and after makeup application. I need to contact them because I love this. I use it as a primer on days when I want my makeup to last like crazy. I want to stay matte if I'm going out, if I know I'm going to be like, you know, at work and then going to an event after. 
it's amazing. It feels very silicone-y. It is great at like stopping oil production. My problem with this though is the sprayer. I used this, the first time I used this, I tried it as a setting spray and it's just like huge droplets at your face and they like sit there because it's kind of silicone-y and then it leaves like a droplet look on your face. So then I tried it under my makeup and loved it that way. But I really would be able to like to be able to use this as a setting spray. So I'm gonna have to contact them and see like, maybe I got a dud or something, but I did buy this in December in New York. So it's probably too late for them to do anything for me. Oh, it's made in Canada. How cool is that? I didn't realize. Um, that's awesome, but I really do love this product, and if you have oily skin, I highly recommend. And also for my oily skin friends out there, Paula's Choice, this is their Skin Balancing Ultra Share Daily Defense Moisturizer. I use this every day in the summer. It is for normal, oily, and combination skin. Um, it's got SPF 30, which is super important. Of course, you should be wearing SPF all year round, but especially in the summer, if you have oily and acne prone skin, you don't want to um, you know, skip a moisturizer because your skin will get dehydrated. And then also if you're letting the sun in at your skin, it's gonna make any acne scarring worse. Um, so this helps to hydrate without adding shine. Antioxidants help boost the um, skin's defenses against the sun, and then it prevents signs of anti-aging. I don't find this is too thick or smells like sunscreen or anything like that. I use it as a moisturizer every single day, um, and I really like it. Highly, highly recommend. So those are my June favorites. I don't know. I feel like June was an amazing makeup month for me. Um, I guess it's because I'm transitioning into kind of my spring faces, and I just love this kind of makeup, although my eye makeup is a little bit dark today. Oh my god! This was the whole reason I did this makeup look, was to show you that I've been loving this palette. I totally forgot, oh my god. It is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I've been loving playing this with this, with this palette because it has totally kind of, I don't know, turned my makeup brain around because I normally reach for very warm golden palettes. And this is quite cool toned and it's got a lot of interesting shades in here that I've never used before. Like this pink, this kind of earl gray shade here. Almond Truffle is kind of gray. Cafe Olay is kind of gray. So it's got a lot of really cool shades in here that I've been playing around with and really enjoying. I'm wearing the shade Totally Fetch on my eyes right now, which is the pink shade. And I think that it looks really, really cool. And it's not as like, I thought it may make me look like kind of sick or look kind of odd because pinks and reds on the eyes can be tricky, but I personally love to wear them and try to rock them as much as possible. Um, but I have really been enjoying this palette and it's been a lot of fun playing around and kind of getting out of my comfort zone. Okay, there we go. That's everything. I'm glad I didn't forget that because there's nothing worse than finishing filming and then seeing like one product and you're like, no, forgot to talk about it. The people need to know. Um, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat at SamanthaJaneYT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.